about eight thirty. I used to tip around the doors trying to keep my sleep as long as they would. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Wood's going to tell us a little story now, right? Okay. Can you tell me your proper name and your address? Joseph Wynn. Yeah. Uh -huh. Your full name? Joseph, no middle name. J-O-S-E-P-H. Joseph Wynn. Okay, and we're in New Canaan. <laughs> we're in New Canaan. That's the neighborhood, right? Canaan Circle. Canaan Circle. Canaan Circle. We wish uh -huh. New. Okay. Now you were you were telling me that in the mill there was a picture. Uh -huh. Can you tell me about that? Well, the only thing I can tell you was a picture in the on the stairway going up. But what become of the picture? Once the guys are moving around properly, you know, throw it in the trash, burn it up. Now who was in this picture? Oh, those guys in there. It was those Browns and. It really, I didn't know, didn't know the guys too good by name, you know, but all those guys that worked in the card room in the spoon, these were in that picture. And they were all black men? All black men, uh -huh. And it was a black woman in that picture, because she, I think she was cleaning up. Uh -huh. Cleaning up the toilet and things. Now, was that that picture was from when? Do you remember? Huh? Do you do you remember what year that picture was approximately? That picture, I don't know, but that picture was up there long in the fifties. But since then, I don't know do you, what would come of it. Now, do you think that picture was from the nineteen thirties? Yeah. It was. Uh huh. Uh huh. You wouldn't want to come here and that. Yeah, who was in? I know God was. So now, could you tell me what you remember about, about this this period of time, this incident? I know you worked there later, but you heard about it. Yes, I heard about it. Well, too much that I can tell you about that because you didn't at that time. You didn't lie on no outside through there or in there. You know. <laughs> It was just recent years when they let the children come in there and, you know, a viewpoint there. But, the, you know, the white children could come in there and learn, but the black children couldn't, couldn't get there. Yeah. So that's the way it was until the recent years. And nothing much that, you know. Now, could you tell me about the, the, the carding room and the... And what the jobs were that those men were doing, do you remember? They were roping, running that big rope, and then on their cart, they were, the carton would come up when they opened the carton up from the mid bottom. They would blow it up there, and then they cart it off, rope it, then they threw it. Mm -hmm. Now, this was all black jobs? All black jobs, yeah. yeah. They were so dusty up there, didn't allow them on it. And so much fuss <laughs> with the black car. <laughs> they didn't want it. They just couldn't do any better. They couldn't do it. No, well, they didn't want it. I'm sure they could have been weaving. They could do. Huh? I mean, the weaving couldn't have been that complicated. The looms. Oh, the loom, no, no. So they were all. so. At the Mary Lila Cotton Mill, that card room was all black. Uh -huh. And then this letter was written in 1934. Uh -huh. And it says that 14 men who were in, they didn't say that it was the card room, but if they were running machines. They were in the card room or the roping room, the okay. room. That that all the, all were let go together there. Okay. So, and then it says that they were fired. In this letter, you remember. Uh -huh. So, do you remember, uh, you know, that time? Do you remember hearing so what happened? Yeah. Just see this. If I didn't give the job to the white guy, just hide all white up there. Uh -huh. And what happened to these folks? Oh, they did a 
to get them another job somewhere. Did some of them, none of them ever got their jobs back here, you no, think? No, no, I don't think so. I don't think none of them ever got no job back there. Listen to you, work there a little while before I come there, but I know none of them didn't come back there after I was there. And did any of them go into the yard, or they just... No, they didn't go nowhere. They didn't come back to the meal. Baby tea? Nowhere. And how, were those jobs, did those jobs become white jobs after that? Yeah. yeah. The carding room, oh, the yeah. roping room, that became white. White jobs after that. Prior to that, they were black jobs? That's right. And then when, how long were they, how long was it that those were white jobs? They were a white job on up until the end of grade, this that meal now. Well, when you were working there, you didn't work in those rooms? No, I was in the house and smooth, finished floor. And I blow on Saturday night. Saturday night? Yeah. And they had to get out of the house and go to the yard or something? Yeah, they had to get out of the house and go to the yard or something. Yeah, they Crank up every motor in there and let them run an hour, then blow them off. So I had to run every machine in there an hour myself, me and another boy, another guy. So therefore, we could run any machine in the world in the middle there. So when you, in 1941, when you joined the union, you were working full time at the mill at that point or no? Me? Yes. No, I, I wasn't working no full time then. I wasn't oh. working at all. Then. Uh -huh. I mean, 46 when I was in full time there. Mm -hmm. So you'd say that you heard about this oh, before yeah. I brought this letter. Uh-huh. In 46 when I... I was working full time. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, so when do you think you did... Was this just something that people who... Black people who worked in the mill knew that at one point the blacks had worked on the inside? And was that something that everybody just knew? Did you... If, Talk about it to each other. I'm just trying to understand uh -huh. how you, you know, how you knew about this. I only know about this because I found this letter in the archive. Uh -huh. About could they work in the mill? Well, now you know the black back in year, he didn't. Try, they didn't try to get no job. Nothing but a man. He heard talk of the some of the guys on the outside job died. or just got sick and couldn't wait. Then they would go there and try to get a job work on the outside. But there no women or nothing like that. No one tried to get no job inside because there wasn't no need because they wouldn't hire no blacks from the inside, see. But these jobs, the opening and the picking and mm -hmm. the... the after that, you see, when they hired them way back there, but after them guys, they didn't hire no more black there. All through the 40s and 50s and And what, and do you... You know, they wrote this letter back when um, the, it was right after the National Recovery Act had gone in, and they were putting people on eight hours a day instead of 12 hours a day, and they were giving them a minimum wage. Uh -huh. And President Roosevelt had said, you know, write to us, I guess, if uh -huh. the mill does something that doesn't comply with the NRA. Uh -huh. So, do you, where do you think these guys? I mean, do you think where do you think these guys might have decided how to write this? Do you think? Do you think they were meeting with each other? Did they have? You know, where do you think they got this idea from? I I don't know. Listen, somebody was helping them. Or they were with each other and got the idea there and seeing what they could do about it. And I don't imagine they ever heard nothing because if they did, they didn't nobody ever do nothing. <laughs> do you think, um, why do you think they didn't sign their name? I don't know. To hear several reasons. Because they figured if, you know, they signed their name that they would have a hard time of getting a job other places, you see. And they wouldn't. That's what I think about it. Now, were black, were, were black workers, did they generally make complaints like this, or was this, I mean, is this something, how did people register protest in those days? Oh, well, we wasn't too much protest they were making. Not here. <laughs> uh -uh, they, just late the years, they started protesting. Mm -hmm. 
Because way back, I know you can hear your daddy saying, you talk about, what was we protest? Well, done was my farming. Farming sawmill in there, uh, the guy, which I, and put wood and stuff that, that here. And railroad and sat down there, and uh, the cotton mill, that was the only thing running Green County. And then the guy was making long hours and getting nothing for it. Uh, uh, now, did did you um did did you did your mama or any of the people that you knew did they work in the mill village too? No, no, no. no. Uh -huh. I know some people took in laundry or they worked in their. Oh, there was a lot of people worked in mill village from here. The mill village, mill people, just about supported. You know, these women around here, they didn't have nothing else to do but to work for them or wash for them, iron or. Cook for them, tend to take, take care of the children while they work, you know. And these kids were making enough that they wouldn't get them over two dollars a week, two dollars and a half a week. I don't make nothing like that. And they weren't making much, were they? The mill people. No, no, but they were making a fair, a decent, much more than us, you know. They were at that time. You say, I would say, if I were making a dollar an hour. The average white man there on the job, he'll come in there, he'll make a dollar and a half to two dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I know I have trained guys down there on my job, what I know they sent me to school to do. And really, they didn't want to pay me, but I was in the union, they had to pay me. And a lot of guys down there would just say, they would take my job for cheaper than what I was working for, just to have the job. Mm -hmm. Wow, let's go. Get a bath. You just showing out, you don't want to kiss me today. <laughs> you don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we like. We're on that here. Yeah. He's going for round two. It was so nice to meet you. It was nice meeting you too. Uh, <laughs> yes, I am. Hope to see you again sometime. Say goodbye. Bye Tell her goodbye. Tell her goodbye, Nick. Way bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. I didn't want to get up. <laughs> Does he look just like his grandpa? Yeah, I don't know. You, you look just like your grandpa. Come on, man. Why you got this fine on? Let's go run some water. Okay. Right now. I don't know. These just around there. If they need you and you was good, and people hire you. If you hear it, you know, if you hire you on a good job there, you hit to have a little education, pretty good education, so I had finished school before we could go. We went at that time because I was working with some people and really they sent me to school. And he had a pretty good break. Did I? Um was there a lot of favoritism in the mill amongst how the white employees got hired? Was there a lot of favoritism amongst how the white employees got hired? Well, yes and no. But now at the time, they would hire those guys and they would train them. And they awake, sometimes they awake a little while and then they were gone. See, that's really need guys Got so many of them there, DB and I and the FBI's in there to see how they were treating the black and see what was going on. The see FBI? It? Yeah, they had them there. They would come in there, so they were just hiding them. They didn't know who they were behind. And they had two or three of them worked out there with us. One worked right beside me there. And he knew everything I was making, every place I went. And so I didn't know. I. He asked me what I was making, and 
I would tell him one thing, he would lay. He said, I know exactly what you're making. Yeah. But you ain't making it quite enough for you, Joe, but you're making pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. Last one Monday morning, we went down there to lock on this thing that big. They had some scooter guards all around there. They set them down. Set the meal down. Wow. Do you remember when there was a, you were only 12 years old, but do you remember when there was a strike back in 1934? I hear first them, strike. Hear them talking about that strike. Uh, but you know, too much how it affected people out there, know, didn't bother them. Wasn't bothered too much about it because we were farming, you know, and it didn't help us one way or the other. And later on, when you joined the union, later on, did you hear about that first big strike in 1934? Yeah, I heard about What did you hear? Well, this is what the guys, what these went on strike, but I just remember what this strike was about. Just like this, this last strike. What was it about the union? What we were asking for more money when the strike, when I was there. They were going to strike and they said he didn't know I'm going to give certain guys as much money, you know, to have a kit. But working there, we weren't making, they weren't making too much. In fact, I feel proof about the thing now. I always have stayed because I had a special job. Well, I always stayed about from 50 cents to 75, maybe a dollar, making more than the rest of the guys on the yard, on the aisle. I had, he had a lot of training in service, and then I come back there, and I... Did, did, the, did, did the men, even back in the 30s, you think, did they have to really know how to run all those machines, even though they were only supposed to know their machines? Did they really need to know how everything ran in order to keep their job? Who? Did, did a black worker have to know a little bit about everything? In order, you know, if they No, there wasn't on, too much for them to know about there, no. He didn't, did, oh, he's a black guy back in the 30s. He didn't, didn't want him for nothing but to haul cotton, clean up, cut the grass, clean the yards up. Clean that meal. Well, he didn't have to have nothing, no nothing to do that. Anybody could be in my bed and do that. So. Must have been very, very hard. It was hard. It was hard. Everybody has an intellect and a brain, and they know how to do all this oh, stuff. Oh yeah, they were kind of smart, but you know what I mean. You didn't, you didn't let them exercise their brain out there on no job like that there. But you know, God, having so many guys left in you. This fool down south, the guy didn't have a chance. I don't want to get out there and. I'm, or fulfill and pick them cotton and plow them mule. But it, it was a lot of black folks in here, here at land, in plantation. And they didn't have to do that for my daddy. And my daddy here, he, at, back in the 30s, he worked at 20 West of hand on his farm down there. He still got a farm down there. He got about. We had about 500 acres down here. We still got, he still got about 207 acres of land down there. And, there. and he's been dead since 20, about 26 years. Now, do you think that most of these men that were working here, that their, their family, their wives also, or their mothers worked for the families on the Mill Hill too? Was it all kind of... On the Mill Hill? Yeah. Did, did their wives probably, or their sisters work for the mill families? The probably, mill, probably people did. People who work in the mill? Oh, probably did, probably did, uh-huh. All right, so do you have any idea how I could find out who these exact men were? You, you have an idea yourself. No. Was it that list that I read to you? Uh-huh. But you, do you go out here for, for what kind of men, you know, the, if they probably hear some way back then, but now, there, oh, but who oh God knows, oh God. 
You can't find none of them, because ain't none of them here. Do you see them? Can you can you imagine these guys' faces when you look at this letter? Uh, I don't know. Imagine their faces, but... You no. can. You can imagine their faces? Uh-huh, but now... Those people, who those people were, or who was it that wrote that letter, and uh, the people from the time that I was working at the plant, they wired, a few of them were hit wired that worked for those people, and a few of them didn't. Because they weren't given too much, you know. They worked for them a while, but I can't imagine them here now because they all gone. Up the country, as far as I know, I did once. But can, can, you can you can almost see their faces who wrote this letter. I mean, do you think it's that picture that was up in the mill at the time? I uh, had to be. Man, yeah, I didn't also you know, see the old guy's picture there. But now all the old guys is dead, and I know right. every one of them is dead. <laughs> And Vin did quite a while, because they were, wasn't no young men, I don't think, when they were waking up there. Couldn't have been. Because they had children. Was there a, and do you know any of their children? Oh my gosh, you know the children. I didn't like, know. Mrs. Drake didn't think that her husband was a part of this because he worked on the outside. Mm -hmm. He she, wasn't. She's right, right? Uh, I don't That's think he was. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Okay, I'll read you those names one more time that I got. Okay. Then we might Uh, Tom Brown. Uh huh. He did. Uh -huh. And do you think he was there? He could have been. All right. Willie, Willie Criddle. Willie Criddle, now here, he could have been in that car there too. Uh, Bit Holder. Uh huh. Bit Holder, mm hmm. Uh, uh, Benny Ash. Yeah. George Merritt. Is George Merritt alive? Is he in Atlanta? No, he did. Moses Love. Did. And do you think he was there? Uh, Mo, no, no, Mo didn't wake up there in no car room. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Graham Jackson? No, Graham Jackson. Went there a little before I did. About a year before I did. And Edward, Edward, uh, the man I spoke to today. Edward yeah, Bonhart. Uh, -huh, he was there before me. And he, he, when I went there, it was gone. He didn't wake him no more. He was working there when you got there? Who's gone? Gone. Okay. Um, and uh, Jim Copeland? Jim Copeland was there. Ooh, way back there before. Jim and Copeland worked up there. He worked in that car room. He did? Uh, yeah. Because his, his name was, his picture was on that wall, Jim Copeland. And San Biggest? Can Biggest? Uh, I'm Mamie, to... can you pronounce a name for me? Yeah. This one. Sam Biggest? How did he pronounce it? They pronounce it like that, Sam Biggest. He couldn't have been named that one. Uh-uh. He had a brother, too. What was brother Biggest. Bro Maybe Biggest. Maybe that was his nickname, Brother uh, Biggest. I know Bro Biggest, but I didn't ever know his. He's that a, must be. Did this, Brother Biggest work there? Not that I know of now. Okay. And Charlie Young? I didn't know him. Charlie Young. Um, and Billy Jackson? Billy Jackson. No, Billy Jackson, that's a Jackson guy. What he read. Billy ain't never worked on me. I don't know what the swift will lift yet. Now, Billy Jackson's on there with me, you no. Know. Okay, what about Luther Kimbrough? Oh, yeah. He was Luther. a fireman? Or well, he you was? were a fireman. Yeah, Luther Kimbrough. And what about Lent Green? Lent Green, he was there. He 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 was there. He, he got him. You think he worked there in the 30s? 
I'm trying to see that it, uh, yeah, he could have been there late, late that it had been real late. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And Frank Lawrence? Uh, Frank Lawrence, yeah, he, he was there. In the 30s? Yeah. He worked on the yard or he on worked the on yard. the inside? Yeah, he worked on the yard. Okay, he didn't work in the, he didn't work in the card room. Uh -uh. Okay, well, um, and Mr. Jonathan? No, he worked on the yard. He worked on the yard. Uh -huh. he, so he didn't get fired? No, he worked there until the disabled and he died. Okay. Now, do you think there's any reason why you think that they would have talked about this letter or anything like that? You, are you surprised you never heard about it? I uh, never heard about it. And there's a lot of names down there he that he could get to the people. You know what, about all those guys, what you said, he didn't do too much work there. The main guy, all the people's is about dead. Okay. Dead or gone. Are there any people that I didn't mention that you're remembering? Well, I'm trying to see. Yeah, y'all called. Did you call John Snowball? Is he alive? No, he did. Oh, I didn't. No, I didn't call his name though. John Snowball. Yeah. Uh, he was there then too. Yeah, John Snowball was there. In. Uh, trying to see who you are. Yes, you didn't call. Um. Them there. We up, boys. I can't call the name. It were two brothers of them guys, and I just can't call the name B. Boy, there. And? No. Oh my God, I can't call the guy's name. And don't know nobody that could call the name right here now. What's up, Are you, uh, and the people that I've spoken with are you? And Mr. Uh, Bernhardt. Okay. Them, the white man. The white man. Yeah. B-Land and... Mr. B-Land. Uh-huh. You talked to the other man. Mayor? You talked to the mayor? Yeah, but he, he says he was young and he didn't... <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, must have been somebody else. You talked to Mr. Emerson on the phone. Uh, is Emerson Gresham older than you or younger than you? Oh, we can put a coffee together. <laughs> so you think he'll know what you know? He might know more than me because he's got probably better memory than I. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you all say. Yeah. Probably no more. I know this, you know, just can't think that I can utter God with what they paid. Okay. And well, you, and he may not know as much, it's just... Well, you've been very helpful because you've been able to tell me that what they're saying in that letter really happened. Yeah, yeah. Say to me, he must do And yeah. no, and, and black men never worked in the card room again after that for a oh, long time? For a long time, you know, they started back in the 60s. He'd have been in the 60s. So now, and, but... But before that, the opening room was a, was always a black man's job, wasn't it? Opening room. Yeah. Being a black man and working on opening room no more and bringing cotton there. I uh, you know. But that way back time before then, you know, they got quicker on this thing here. When they got, I don't know what to have, but they started rooting the old black guy out the job with the head there. No way back there they started even taking the old truck away from them black guys. They used to drive those trucks, but they, and when that come in there, black guy got the trucks and got back, you see. Now, do you know if there were any organizations like the NAACP or a black organization that was supporting, you know, like equal rights for blacks, even at that time in the 30s? I don't know them, but it was some. Was there a group? Uh, yeah, that was a professional but I don't know what that was. And was there something here in Greensboro, like for the betterment of the Afro-American people, or? 
not that I know of here, but in other places. Not in Greensboro. Not as I know of, it could be in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, well, I can tell you, you know, the younger guy back in the old days, he didn't, wasn't like the people's like children are now. Uh -uh, you didn't get around there. And in fact, you get up there and want to go on for talking, you couldn't get there. You had to go. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, step your head over here. So, was this a very bold thing for these men to do? Yeah, I think so. It was a bold thing for them to do then. That's why they didn't sign their name because if they had a sign their name, that would have hurt them to get a job anywhere else, you see. And you know they had to live out of the guy down there, you know. But they were just like a guy if you was a, a rope and you go to time, making the time for it. Ain't nobody gonna hire you because they're scared of you. You see, ain't nobody gonna hire you too much there on the job. I know you know that yourself. Uh -uh. You can get anything happen but being a road. You being a road, you ain't gonna get no way. What was that? I said you can do anything but be a road. And you be, be a, a thief. How do you might call it, you know, because your dad go further than you. Uh -huh. That done already got to your job before you get there. Uh -huh. Well, listen, I, th I really want to thank you because you've helped put this all in a perspective for me. Uh -huh. You really helped a lot. It was very good that we came to see you. <laughs> thank you, so much thank you very much. Uh -huh. yeah. Very much. Would you like a copy of this at some point? Oh, well, I don't think it's much good to do me, so, you know, we'll go to that trouble. <laughs> All right, now, I'm, I said this is a traveling picture from here to Augusta and back, so. Then will you go to the doctor? Uh-huh, I'm fitting it. See, I got hurt in the service oh, there. Oh, you were the military man. Uh -huh, oh, yeah. okay. And I've been going ever since I've been out. Very good. <laughs> oh, That's a good yeah. plan. It is. At the VA hospital? Uh-huh, yeah. I've been going there about 40. Yeah, 50 years. Let me ask you a question. If uh, if we were to come back here with a camera, um, a television camera, you know, a video mm -hmm. camera, mm -hmm. would you be willing to tell me the same story on a video camera? Yes, if I'd be here. If you'd be here, you'd be willing to do I that? I said, if I'd be here. If you're here. If you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Because then I have to go back next week. Okay. And they might keep me every two weeks. I'll uh, finish that if I need to go. Okay. How long do you stay when you go? Just as long as they want me. They find something wrong with you, keep me. <laughs> That's good. They thorough. Yeah. You know, if you're connected to the Army, see, I was connected. All right. I'll so that's next week that you're going to be there? Uh, that's the, yeah, next week. I'm, if they don't call me this week. They, we're getting some medicine. And that medicine ain't come. It had not come today. And I may have to go back there and there before this week out. Mm -hmm. Well, I sure appreciate you talking with us. Thank you very much. I'm glad I recorded this. That's the only guy who wished it ain't going to the lowest.